The following contest is a Falls Count Anywhere match and is for the WWE Cruiserweight Championship. Business just picked up. The man is alive. Where's this going? I think it's about to be a highlight reel. Oh, we have a brawl on our hands. What a strike. Ooh, what impact. You gotta believe this one's over. Ricochet carried a revered reputation upon being signed by WWE, and I must say, all of his acclaim is well warranted. Watch any highlight of Ricochet, and you will instantly realize that he lives up to his billing. Beautiful technique. Touching again on Ricochet's reputation coming into WWE, Ricochet gained so much of his popularity outside of WWE. But since arriving on this stage, he's taken his game to a whole new level. And he has to, Byron. Because if you ask me, he came here with a bit of an overblown reputation. I mean, as I become more seasoned as a journalist, I grow more and more skeptical of internet darlings like Ricochet. Nailed it. Things not looking great for Finn Balor. He's a true champion. I suspect he has plenty of fight left in him. Hey, you're going to get hurt in a match like this. That's just the way it is. There's really no way around it. This is all part of the process, guys. He knew he would take on some offense here tonight. He just has to make sure he keeps it to a minimum. Byron, I know in preparation for this match, you were studying footage of Ricochet. Did you learn anything? I tried to study tape of Ricochet, but I kept on hitting rewind on the VCR because everything was just so unreal. He's a real stick of dynamite with the innovative maneuvers he pulls off. Byron, I don't think people rewind tapes and VCRs anymore. It's all digital now. Even I know that. But regardless, Corey, how would you contain Ricochet's explosive offense? Well, I mean, listen, like Byron said, Ricochet can be a stick of dynamite, just like in the old cartoons. He can light the fuse, travel across the world, barricade himself in a bunker, and then get a package where the same dynamite that he sent blows up in his face. What a punch! Big punch finds its mark. Oof! Real quick, in case we have any newbies watching, a false Count Anywhere match means that this contest can literally end anywhere. Simple, right? Even Saxton can understand those rules. Showing some quickness there. Looking for all the glory here. It's going to take more than that to keep his shoulders down. It's going to take more than that. In describing this match, Corey, you said it can end anywhere, which means we could see this match conclude in the ring, the stands, the locker room. Heck, it could even out end outside the streets. And on top of that, it's worth noting that anything is legal in this match, guys. The only rule is there are no rules. Can he end it here? Oh, 
Well, guys, the referee should have it relatively easy here tonight because, as you know, in a false count anywhere match, anything goes. Looking for something big up here, and that's exactly what we're going to get. Uh-oh, pump handle applied. What's coming next? Oh! Incredible ricochet connecting with a match-ending move. He's got him covered. Hard to argue your take on this match, Michael. Turn out the lights. The party's over. Ricochet is your new champion. Here is your winner and the new WWE Cruiserweight Champion. What's going on here? Here we go. with the title and let me tell you that thing is heavy when this guy's on look out oh incredible ricochet connecting with a match ending move things are about as bad as they could possibly be right now for finn balor The following contest is a tables match and is for the WWE Hardcore Championship. Welcome to Balor Club. Excellence of execution. And introducing the champion from Calgary, Alberta, Canada. Michael Cole, Corey Graves. Byron Saxton here to call what will surely be a highly contested matchup. Oh my God. He made this table match one for the ages. And here's another look at what made that match so special. Here is your winner and the new WWE Hardcore Champion, Finn. What's going on here? Connects with the championship. Oh man, that one landed square too. Connects with the championship. Oh man, that one landed square too. Here he goes. 1916. I think this is the beginning of the end, Michael. Come on, Bret Hart, you can do this.
The following contest is a tabled match and is for the WWE Undisputed Championship. Here comes the Hitman! Introducing the challenger from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, weighing in at 235 pounds, Brett the Hitman. Oh no. Yes! This fool. You can feel the electricity running through this arena. This is going to be some battle. One on one. Mano a mano. Being driven through a table and play. And Bret Hart is your winner. His opponent was just excellently executed. I can't believe what we just saw. Tables matches are fan favorites for a reason, folks. Here is your winner and the new WWE Undisputed Champion, Bret the Hitman. Now look at this. Uh-oh, here we go. Well, that gives new meaning to have a seat. Whack! Michael, that gives new meaning to have a seat. The Hitman looks to end things. Oh, nasty impact. Here's his chance. <laughs> 